So a couple of updates in the Brian Koberger case. And for anyone that's been a conspiracy theorist regarding this case, I kind of want them to listen really carefully on this one. So prosecutors have rejected defense claims that they have not disclosed cell phone records in the Brian Koberger quadruple murder case. A phone expert for the defense team had claimed that he was only getting breadcrumb-like information about Koberger's cell phone movements. Now, in a filing to Judge John Judge, dated June 10th, Deputy Prosecutor Ashley Jennings listed 25 times that they've handed over documents to Koberger's legal team between January 23rd, 2023 and May 28th, 2024. In court, Jennings said that the large amount of evidence handed over included 15,691 pages of discovery, which would fill 39 legal binders, including 13,000 photographs, 911 dumps of audio visuals, and an additional 50 terabytes of over 285 police interviews. And in addition to this, the prosecutors have given the defense team 417 files of phone call records, 8,000 video clips from CCTV cameras in 10 homes, multiple terabytes from 11 computers, and 17 phones examined by police, as well as information from multiple social media accounts. Now, what it is I think Ann Taylor is actually requesting and asking for was that Moscow Police Department had so much information coming to them. It was such an influx to them. In the very early stages, stages of the case. They probably weren't completely convinced on the timeline, meaning that in the beginning stages they could have been looking for any CCTV relating to the time frame of 2am to 3am. Then they would later learn that Zana, an individual who was murdered inside the home, was on TikTok at roughly 4.10am and received a DoorDash at around 4am, which would prove that the individual that was murdered was awake at around that time, meaning the police would then re-examine their time frame. When they re-examine their time frame from around the area of 3 to 5am, let's say, that's when they start to get a source of one suspect and one suspect only. But in the beginning stages, they could have been asking multiple different businesses if they could have any CCTV from certain time frames. Now, technically, if they have that information, the reason why they haven't given it over to Ann Taylor is because it's exempt, because it doesn't specifically stick to her client, because the case wasn't immediate that the police jumped onto Brian Koberger. They had to investigate for a period of time before they came to the conclusion that the individual in question was the suspect that they should apprehend. So in the early stages, there are probably some videos that Moscow Police Department have on file that pertain to certain time frames that don't necessarily mean anything to the case, but they just have. And it's exempt and it's probably something that Ann Taylor is trying to dig her claws into to get, which would help her delay the time on this case, as well as put on a show for the cameras to somewhat manipulate the public before the trial even begins. Now the cell phone records in which the expert said are bread like crumbs that he claims are missing are 2 to 3% worth of data. If the other 97 to 98% of the data matches and correlates, then I believe that they should have the right in searching this 2 to 3% of data on the defense's side because it will only prove the prosecution's theory that Brian Koberger's alibi doesn't stick. And once they prove that, the alibi that Brian Koberger's suggesting goes out the window before he's actually even got to trial. Not only that, but Latar County has actually updated its fiscal year. Now, this year, 2024, the fiscal year for Latar County was around about $3,000. They've updated this for the fiscal year of 2025. And Latar County are requesting $150 $50,000 for the fiscal year of 2025, as opposed to 2024 when they only needed $3,000, which would give me the assumption that Latar County is now gearing up to go to trial with the Brian Koberger case. The earliest that I see this starting is around summer of 2025. Prosecution, on the other hand, have been ready to go for a very long period of time, but with Latar County updating its fiscal year, that can only mean one thing. Anyway, that's it from me today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.